Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben Parks, 225 Marathoner, and today I want to take you through four of my all-time favourite lunches, which I have all the time. So it's a little step-by-step -step guide to help you get some really good quality food into your diet to help fuel your running and everything you're doing. So as I say, we've got four super healthy, quick lunches here for you guys to make. And these are things that I have all the time in my day to day to help with my running. But as everything with diet related, this is just what works for me. You might get some really good ideas, but it might not necessarily work for you. With anything diet related, please get some professional advice from a dietitian. I'll put some recommended people down below. Right, let's get stuck into this, really excited. And as always guys, let me know, what are your favorite lunches that you like to make when you're getting your training done? And if you like this kind of video, please like and share it with a friend. And as I say, let us know down in the comments, what are your favorite lunches? The first thing that we're gonna be making today is some pesto pasta, but we're gonna add a few things just to make it a little bit more interesting and really up that nutritional content. So I'm starting here just by draining some chickpeas and then adding them to a bowl. And then going into that, we're gonna add some spinach and then putting on the pasta to cook. Here I've got some tender stem broccoli and I'm just going to cook that in the pasta water for the last couple of minutes of the pasta's cooking time. Once the pasta and broccoli are cooked, I'm just going to drain it and pop it all in the bowl together, mix it all up with the chickpeas and the spinach, which is just going to wilt and cook down nicely with the heat of the pasta. Now it's time for the pesto. I'm just going to add a couple of spoonfuls to the bowl, mixing it up and coating it all in. Now, of course, if you've got time to make your own pesto, that's great. It will taste great and it's pretty simple. Then I'm just going to have it with a few more greens, adding some rocket this time, and then some balsamic glaze over the top. And then you can add some nutritional yeast, as Sarah likes, or some parmesan, if that's your thing. And that's pretty much it. It took all of about 10 minutes to make, and you've got a really tasty, nutritious bowl of food. And this one will keep really well in the fridge for the day after, or even the day after that. Well guys, let's see what it tastes like. So much green in this uh, meal. Really, really good. All right, it's so nice. That is gonna fuel your runs. Lots of iron in there, all which all runners need from all that spinach as well. All right, I'm gonna go and finish this plate of food and we'll see you in the next one. The next lunch we're preparing is gonna be some soup, but like before, we're gonna be adding loads of interesting stuff to make it more nutritious and filling as well. And then once the soup is cooking, we're gonna be adding in some kale, some tofu, and some grains to bulk it out a little bit more and up that nutritional content. Like the pesto, if you've got time to make your own soup, that's great. If not, try and find a version in store with all ingredients on the list that you've actually heard of. When we're in a rush, we like to try this one from Renourish. So firstly, putting the soup on to heat through and then in we're going to pop some kale some chunks of tofu that I've chopped up here I'm using around about a third of a block and then finally I'm going to add in about half a pack of this grains with some rice and some quinoa into the mix usually a pot like this will serve one person but all this extra ingredients it will easily serve two people and then you can add in some other things maybe like butter beans other veggies maybe some pasta and that's it we've made an otherwise boring soup really tasty packed with protein and carbs to reach fuel you after your morning run. So here we go guys, how good does this look? Perfect hearty meal for the winter. It's one degree Celsius here in London today. That is just fantastic. Really nice base for that soup there. Bit of protein from the tofu and carbs from all those grains. Right, bon appetit. I'm gonna get stuck into this and warm up on this freezing cold day. Next on our lunch list is an absolute British classic, jacket potato with beans and some salad on the side. But if like me, you love a sweet potato, then why not dig out one of those on your next trip to the supermarket? But of course, you can just use a white standard potato as well. Now we're just gonna pop one in the microwave for around about four minutes on each side and then finish it off in the oven just to get that nice crispy outside coating to it. While the potato is cooking, I'm just getting here a tin of beans and I'm gonna start preparing the salad. For the salad, you can add in whatever you've got knocking around. Today, we've just got some spinach, some tomatoes, some cucumber, maybe add a little bit of rocket or olives, whatever you've got in the fridge that you want to get used up. Then once the potato is done, it's time to put it all together. I'm just adding here some spread, adding the beans on top, and then the salad on the side with a little bit of my favorite hummus, 
and then maybe a little bit of nutritional yeast over the beans and that's it great nutritious meal ready to go in around about 10 minutes right guys here we go this is one of my absolute favorite meals i love having sweet potato uh, jacket potato, but were you a fan? Are you a sweet potato, jacket potato, or a normal potato, jacket potato kind of person? Um, Sarah's actually going to have this right now for her lunch, uh, so I'm not going to disturb her while she eats that. And we get back on the video, and I take you through cooking the final lunch. Really excited for that, guys. If you guys want to see something weird, Sarah actually adds pickle onto hers. But yeah, how do you how do you guys like to modify your me meals to make them super? What are your weird little additions you add in? Let us know down in the comments. Well guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Sarah, can you go back a little bit? I've just got in for a run. I'm just gonna have some chocolate milk, one of my super favorite things, as I take you through this last, uh, our last lunch for today, which is basically gonna be some falafels. So we're just gonna put the oven on there, just gonna heat that up. We've just ready bought these uh, from Sainsbury's. So we're just gonna put about five of those in the oven for about five, 10 minutes, just until they're nicely warmed up. You don't have to cook them, they are okay cold, but I'm just, I'm just one of those people, I just really like my food warm, just not a fan of cold food basically. But let's get those whacked in the oven. While the falafels are cooking, we're just gonna chop up some of the veggies. So here I've just got some spinach, which we did wash earlier. Um, I like to keep that quite rough. Just gonna whack that into a bowl there. And yeah, with so many people working from home at the moment, which uh, has its benefits because we've got now time to not eat out all this really fast food. We actually prepare some good um, healthy lunches to go with our running. So we're adding, adding in some tomatoes there. One of my favorites, a little bit of cucumber here. What do you think of my chopping skills, guys? <laughs> I have spent a lot of my sort of previous life, I did want to become a chef, really like cooking a lot. And so, yeah, it's really good skill to teach yourself because it helps you running so much if you can cook. So hopefully, hopefully you're gonna try a lot of these ideas and let us know on Instagram. Tag us when you make these meals on Instagram, tag us there and we'll, I'll repost it on my stories. I'd love to see what everyone's getting up to. And on top of the salad, we're just gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and a little bit of balsamic glaze. We go through so much balsamic glaze, just absolutely love the stuff. Right, let's have a quick check on the falafels. They're nearly done, just a couple of minutes. So we're just gonna add in some black olives. Right, I'm gonna chop all of these up. Right, we're also gonna add in a few grains. These are left over from our earlier lunch as well so I'm going to add these in right let's get let's get another swig of the chocolate milk these falafels have toasted up really nicely oh that sort of smell reminds me of uh, New York City with all the hot dog stands the falafel stands right let's get one of these wraps out now I like to just warm these up slightly so I'm just going to put this in the microwave Oh, there is already a plate in there. Sarah's beating me to it. Just gonna put that in for about 10 seconds. There we go, nice warm bit of bread. Let's get these falafels. I'm actually gonna chop these in half. Actually, before I do that, I'm doing this in the wrong order. Be a bit safer, kids, with your sharp knives. Use uh, not quite a lethal knife to Spread your hummus in there. And uh, are we gonna put a bit of mayo in here, Sarah? I think we're gonna put some mayo in. Let's, uh, let's get some, oh, where is it, where is it? There we go. Some Hellman's, king of the mayo. Three falafels in there. Put the mayo in a second. Let's give this salad a bit of a shake. So we've got those beautiful cucumbers, the spinach and tomatoes those olives this is never gonna close and over the top just gonna add a few of the grains as well and then finally good dollop of good old mayonnaise right now you can watch me try and get this wrap closed which is never gonna happen I could get a job in Chipotle oh no oh, no. no I can't Oh, this is, this is a disaster here, guys. Can you see 
to the sides. <laughs> oh dear, what an absolute mess. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter when the food tastes this good. Right, I'm absolutely starving after my run. That took all of about 10 minutes to make, and it was actually really only about five minutes because those uh, falafels were cooking in there. Let's just give this a quick, quick taste test. Oh, that is good. Right, can you guys clear off a minute? Because I'm gonna go and really enjoy this on the sofa. Catch up with some of my YouTube favorites. We'll see you back in the kitchen in a bit. What a mess. So there we have it guys. Hopefully some new tips and tricks and some new meal ideas there for you to try in your own cooking. As I said before, let us know what is your favorite lunch and which one out of what we cooked today, one, two, three, or four was your favorite. Thank you so much for all the support, everybody checking out the website, all the new gear. This is coming out in at the spring. Thank you to all the Patreon legends and the supporters here on YouTube. We couldn't, simply couldn't do these videos without your support, so thank you so, so much. Right, I'm off for my second run of the day very, very shortly, and I will see you back training for Manchester Marathon for that sub 2.30 coming very, very soon. Wishing you guys all the very best with your training, and I'll see you in the next one. We can't forget Kiki the cat. You getting hungry as well? What does Kiki eat in a day? Lots of cat food. There you go, you can have, have a few little treats there. Do you want those? Do you want some human food? I don't think you'd like it very much. Do you want to say hello to YouTube? Mm -mm -mm. Hello YouTube. Oh, she's a little lick. Oh.